Hi, I'm Emily Taylor. I'm the founder of Pattern Jam, and I'm also a fabric designer for Riley Blake. This is my new collection, Chatsworth, and we are going to walk through making this quilt on Pattern Jam. Once you get to PatternJam.com, this is your dashboard, and click on the Design a Custom Quilt button. It will take you into the designer, where you can customize the size of your quilt, the size of the blocks, and add sashing or border. You can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to add a 2-inch border. And then we're going to go over to the blocks. Now, the simplest way to make a quilt pattern on Pattern Jam is to just drag blocks up to the A and B, and that will create a simple alternating block pattern. And it, this is really a fun, a fun, easy way to see quickly um, what something might look like. But you can also click and drag the blocks over to the grid itself to begin to create a more custom design, like I'm doing here. Okay, now we see, I want to show you this. If I click on that arrow, it will rotate the block so that I can get it the right way. That's a premium feature on Pattern Jam. Now once I've gotten the pattern the way I like it, I'm going to go down to my stash and open this up and go down to my Chatsworth collection. Now you'll see this little icon. When I click on the, this icon, it will open up the fabric so that I can have a better look at it and get a little more information about the print. I can also favorite it and that's where it, how it gets added to my stash. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. So I'm going to go up and undo this and click the button that says add it to a single block only. And then I can be much more custom in the application of my fabric. Now we're going to speed up here so you can see um, this quilt begin to take shape. Now the great thing about Pattern Jam and the reason that I designed it is I feel like we need to be able to see what our quilt will look like before getting started, before we invest the time and money into the project. So I'm pretty happy with the way this is looking right now, but I want to zoom in and double check that I like everything, how it's working together, and then back out um, so that I can see the, see the, the whole quilt. Again, we're going to hit the hyperdrive and move a little quick so you can just see this begin to take shape. Now, when you've created a quilt pattern on Pattern Jam and you save it, you have access to go back and edit it at any time. Also, you can access the fabric calculations. Um, let's just finish this up. Oh yeah, I like the way that looks, so I'm going to now name it and save it to the public stream. That will enable other people to view my design. Now once it's saved, I can access the fabric calculations and I'll get a downloadable PDF pattern of my new quilt. Here it is. And then it will be forever on your dashboard on Pattern Jam. So come on over and give it a try and use Chatsworth in PatternJam.com.